Welcome back everyone to another video. Today we're going to be playing some more Race League and I'm thinking of making the test track out uh, using GTA in this game. I'm obviously not going to have it exactly like I have in GTA or otherwise it would be completely flat. But I think we're going to add some hills and stuff. Uh, yeah. Alright. Let me just put in some of the settings and I guess we get going straight away. So to start off, we need some sort of straight. Okay, what's going on? Then you do a bit of a straight there. They definitely have, since last time we played this, they definitely seem to have improved some of the features, what's nice. It's definitely a lot more, uh, it's a lot more smoother than last time I played. Uh, so this will go like that. This will run up here. I probably will have to move some around so it's more, more to how it is in, than when I usually test drive it. So yeah, uh, I'll let me do a bit more and then I'll show you some progress. Hmm. Yeah, I think I will definitely at the end will have to move stuff because looking at the proportions, this should be more this way and this bit here should be a long line here. So I think I will have to move this in. I think before now, I'm just going to try and get pretty much the actual sort of the layout kind of. And then I'm going to try and line it up more. I think I will be on doing a bit of a time lapse later when I'm pulling over props down. But yeah, I think I might need to redo this because for some reason it has. Added these extra bits on. I'm not sure why. Why is it in that? I don't know if this is the shoulder, but I don't think it is. Oh, wait, there you go. I think all oh, this seems to work now. So yeah, I think what I'll do, I will see how much I can line this together. Hopefully, we can put extra points down just so it's a bit better. Let me remove this track so we don't need this. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get into the process of actually trying to line it up some more. And actually, I will also need to do. I will do some elevation changes here and there, but we'll have to see. Okay, yeah, so I think we have sorted out the layout somewhat. There still is a bit, I think I do need to fix that a bit, it looks like. But the track is definitely coming together now. I think we do need to do a little bit more changes. I want to do a bit of camber, a bit of height changes. But yeah, I think, uh, I think, I think overall, I think this is definitely coming together. Um, obviously, there's a... Quite a lot of land here, well it hasn't been used, but probably won't be. I'll probably just put a big hill here or something just to cover it. Uh, I should test drive it just to make sure it's fine. I have obviously got rid of the shoulder because I didn't want that. And instead of uh, being six width, it's now eight. So that should hopefully uh, make it more reasonable. I guess that'll be my next step is to add the camber and the height and make sure everything's fine. So then I can actually get into putting like the pit lane down and all that sort of stuff. So since last time guys we looked up, I have done quite a lot. I was gonna add height and stuff like that. How's that actually I did change the, the view location? Well I think I actually added a bit of a up and down. If there is like a bit of elevation around the track you can see here. But actually it's quite nice. I did try and use the thing tool to to make bits that go up and down and stuff like that, but um yeah it, it didn't really worked that well because sometimes like it felt like the road was like buried underneath the ground because you wouldn't see any of the white lines anymore and when i did try and clear the ground it was like really bumpy so i looked like the road from cars was really bumpy looked like that but yeah since last time we actually done a lot i've, I've put all the roads i've put all the gravel traps we got all the um what you call it the curbs the walls the, the barriers yeah, but only really thing we need to do now is pretty much put down the props and then at the very end I'll put down all the checkpoints and stuff. But I've also put down like the sort of secondary tracks, like I don't know, like the track could technically be like this, so I'll put like a thing here. I could have, I probably could have done the road tool to do it probably. We got the pit lane was like that. The pit lane was originally gonna pretty much come along here, but. Uh, yeah, because these booms obviously went that long, I decided to do that. I and mean, then obviously you got the other part. The people are actually using the actual test track. Obviously this part, I mean, actually test track, I don't use. I use this to test the cars because you go like that. And just went across and then you do that. But yeah, I think now it's probably time to do a time lapse where I put down all the props. And this might take quite a bit. Probably going to start off with just doing the hill back just to sort of fill that area up. Put, put some trees and stuff like that because it's not really going to be much. I do need to put some grandstands down. Yeah, there's still quite a bit to do, but I think this is probably the hardest work because this is like you have to be really precise. Like, I can we go really in like all these barriers aren't in the walls. Like, I've made sure that it all looks nice and tidy. But yeah, I think now it's time to actually probably get into a bit of a time lapse 
Uh, I think, obviously, if the bits get too hard, I'll probably cut them out, but yeah. I'm, I'm definitely starting to get back into the game, starting to get used to how to do stuff. Uh, also, I think I did change a little bit since last time. This here is along here. This was like here, so it kind of looked weird because we had like this here, this here, and this here was like a step up. This for now is like along here. This was stuck there. Obviously, because it's so close, you have these little barriers. So there's not really much runoff room here, but yeah. Hopefully, you just don't crash here. You're going to go straight into this barrier because there's not much runoff room because there's not much space. Also, here, there's really not much runoff room. But obviously, hopefully, if you crash. Well, at this point, because you have broken with this, you shouldn't crash at too high speed. But yeah, I think now is, I, I should shut up and get into the time lapse. So there we go, guys. We have just finished off the track. I've uh, put in all the pit lanes, all the grill. I put all the checkpoints in. We got the pit lane and everything. To be honest, maybe I should have probably brought the pit lane back a bit, the exit, because of you probably should have speed up around here, probably. But uh, I'll probably I'd have to do another lap if I wanted to bring this back. I might bring this back. Uh, but yeah, I think the only really thing for us to do now is um, really just race the track and uh, see how it goes. I think I'm going to use a steam wheel as long as I can get it working. Should be better for it. So I guess uh, we'll jump straight on in to me racing. Hope you're doing a test lap, I should say. Okay, guys, what we're going to do now, we're going to do our uh, first sort of official lap of the track. Let's get around the final corner. Um, I'm not going to push it fully because I probably could... In some areas go lower gears, but if I do, you get a lot of wheel slip. So you have to try and gently do it, or you're gonna spin, or you're gonna like lose a lot of grip. So yeah, so this is obviously corner two. You have to break down here. Obviously, second gear. As long as you gently put it on, you should be fine. And here we go. You've gotta take this carefully. I feel like if that wasn't curved, that could be an overtaken opportunity, but because I was laid out, it's not going to be the best. But you do have two big straights. Obviously, this one we're coming to the to now, the back straight. Sort of, well, it's not fully a straight, but uh, it is one big long sort of curve in a way you could say. It does like get a lot of speed. So you want to hug this wall until you get to here, and then you want to break down. On here it's nice and tidy. And then race down to the finish line. How long will this track take to finish? Obviously, I probably could push this loss faster. One minute eight. So I think that's gonna be it, guys, for today's video. I probably will keep going around this track to see what time I can do. Um I think I will in the future play this game again. Obviously, both tracks I've created have kind of been like sort of countryside tracks. I feel like in the future. My next video on this game will be like probably like maybe a year from now, like six months or something like that. It's gonna be a bit from now, but my next video I think I will um, do like a city track, a street circuit. I think I'll do to change it up and see what I can do. I think that could be quite cool. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. So if you did enjoy this video and want to see some more uh, race league or heart of iron, please like, subscribe, and comment. And yeah. I think I'll see you all in the next video. So, cheerios.